All right, guys, today we're going to work on a low poly art project, as you can see here with this parrot. Um, you can pick any photograph that you own, and that can be a portrait, that can be an animal, um, but just as long as it's a picture that you took, and I'm going to be very stickler about that. So um, if you need to take a picture of yourself just for this, or if you need to go back through old photographs, trip to the zoo, trip of a pet or uh, animal or something like that, and then go find whatever you want as long as it's something you took. Because I'm thinking about art shows in the future, and if you pick something off the internet, it will probably be uh, copyrighted, and uh, we can't use that. So if you found a photograph of a bear that somebody else took, that doesn't belong to us, and that will not be allowed into art shows. So make sure it's something that you took. Again, it can be a portrait or an animal, either one. Um, see here, um, we can see a few of those. Um, here's basically the tutorial that we'll be following. This one doesn't have any talking and doesn't walk you through it, but you can kind of see the process um, that we'll be doing. So if you'd like to check that one out, you can. So I'm starting off with a picture that I got here um, of myself. And first thing we need to do is mask it out because we're going to put a gradient in the background. So I want to cut it out. And I want to use our pen tool. So we're kind of taking what we've learned in the past and we're going to apply it to something new. So we're going to use our pen tool. And uh, the, the next step is using filters. So kind of combining the two last things that we did into one. So what you're going to need to do is grab your pen tool. And I'm probably going to zoom in, not zoom out, zoom in, which is control plus, plus, plus. And then I'm using the hand. I'm just holding down the space bar to move it around. And I'm going to start right here and go all the way around my head. Now, you can pull it out as you're going, like what we did for um, you know, the pen tool game online. Or you could just click, click, click and go back and do it. Um, like we did the, the candy cane where you uh, did that second. And so just like the car, I'm looking for as few, uh, just like the game in the car, the, the little Volkswagen, I'm looking for as few points as possible. And if I can get this with a fewer points, it's going to be much smoother. And if i got to make the choice to cut off a little bit of my um, head or ear or something, I'm going to do that. I don't want to have background image in there. I want to keep it nice and smooth. And then when you get to some places in the hair, which this is still pretty smooth for me, but I'll get over here to show you some places in the hair where it's not quite as smooth. A little bit older picture. I got a little longer hair now. But you can just kind of click, click, click and give it that sort of rough edged look. There we go. Of course I'm going a lot faster than you'll probably go and that's okay right now. I've done this a little bit longer than you guys have. So there's just a whole bunch of clicks for that beard hair. Um, some nice big smooth lines here make those nice curves and then I'm going to zoom out and I got to close this so I'm going to go all the way over here and then all the way to close it now before I do anything with this I always like to copy stuff so let's just copy that and I'm going to hide the background and then I'm going to add a mask now the first mask I add is the regular mask that we're all used to using uh, so nothing happened but as soon as I hit it a second time you can see it made a vector mask, and that's what that second mask is for. This mask, if I got a paintbrush, would still work the same way as our regular mask, but we also have a vector mask back behind here that's got me cut out. So that's phase one of this. This is all that's due for today's project, and then we'll pick back up on this, and we'll do the poly part on a second video.